All right. Um, welcome back to another show, everybody. Uh, you, this is you, May Roscoe. Um, I'm here today with uh, my man, OG Zoe, my man, uh, Silk Threads. Uh, and uh, on today's show, uh, we're going to talk about um, white people and their place in hip hop. And um, this is this is a kind of a touchy subject for a lot of people in a in a lot of ways, you know. So um, I thought this was something that um, we should discuss between us. I thought that people would be very interested in, in uh, some of our outlooks and points of views on this whole subject matter. So um, before I get into the proceedings, I want to give a shout out to um, uh, Mike Check. He uh, does the Model B bracelets. Um, you can look out for him um, on any links that I may have on any of these shows. Um, we There's also links um, if you go to uh, the Warheads page to the Model B uh, bracelets and shout out to the Warheads, shout out to um, uh, Silk and his uh, show that he does Silk and the Thread, uh, Silk and the Guys, excuse me. Uh, Silk and the Threads, look at me. <laughs> That's my name too. Yeah, no, I know, right? <laughs> but, um, now that I got all that stuff out the way, we can go ahead and get into the conversation. And um, like I said, we want to talk about uh, white people in their place in hip hop. We're going to talk about um, cultural appropriation, you know, um, a lot of that type of stuff. So um, uh, me and uh, some, just some of my immediate thoughts on uh, this whole deal. Um, First of all, we know where hip hop started from. We know um, who were some of the participants right there at the beginning. Uh, we know that it, it, that it was mainly uh, black people and brown people who uh, started up the culture um, in New York. So we know that and we know that that's uh, kind of where the genesis comes from. But we know as hip hop uh, uh, has gone along throughout the years, has had a chance to grow has had a chance to um, reach different parts of um, not just the United States, you know, but the world. And um, now we live in a world where um, hip hop is pretty much the dominant culture out here, you know, the dominant music out here when um, I know that uh, for me and Silk, we came up in a time where, you know, um, if you go back to when we were kids uh, in the eighties, you know, they talked about this uh, not being here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like rap actually disappearing and going away at some point. So um, it's just amazing to think that, you know, to come from that and now to realize that it is dominating that the way that it is. But um, in the time of that growth, there's been a lot of arguments that have been made um, since um, the white people's participation in the music. They've been participants in hip hop for almost as long as um it's been here, you know, um, um, I know for me, probably some of the um, early participants that I would uh, recognize and be aware of is like the Beastie Boys, um, uh, Third Base, um, and then they, as you go along, you would get um, a few more people, we would evolve to like Eminem and all that type of stuff, you know, but um yeah, you know, we got uh, white people that are here in the culture now. And um, as of rec in recent years, we've had arguments, um, um, whether it be on uh, certain interviews, Vlad interviews. I know that um, uh, Lord Jamar, uh, he was saying a lot about this uh, subject, about how um, white people are guests in, um, in the house of hip hop. And um, that's not, I don't know if that's something I particularly agree with, but um, I guess we could start at that point right there. And um, I just want to ask you, so like, first of all, um, just, uh, just off that point alone, what do you think about a statement like that when um, somebody like Lord Jamar says that um, white people are guests in the house of hip hop? Uh, how do you feel about that? I see it as, um, I mean, I, I see it as, hip hop culture has no color because wherever hip hop is within you, right? So there's different people that listen to different types of music and no music really has a color to it. 
everybody can presume, but not all music really has a color to it because there's so many different ways across the lands where people never were able to communicate with each other that stuff sounds similar. And so music is something that I think can just go fluid between anything. I don't think music has a color. I think it, I think it really just resonates with what resonated when, with you, when you started experiencing with music. What about you? What about you, Silk? Uh, music has a color, black, you know what I'm saying? It's melanated, whatever, whatever, whatever shade you want to do. Music is melanated because the first music came from melanated people. If you want to, if you want to talk about rock, rock and roll is melanated music, appropriated melanated music. Um, um, Jazz, you know, jazz is melanated music. Uh, folk music is melanated music. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we went through a time where um, music, melanated music was appropriated by pale colored people and presented to the world as their own because they had the means to be the first to introduce it to the world through their various um programs meaning like tv radio things like that they they they're in control of tv and radio and in control of the programming that they give you and we've seen we've seen plenty movies and documentaries where an up-and-coming melanated group would go to these pale colored uh, record companies and be told that the music isn't anything but end up getting it stolen and giving it to another pale colored group you know, um, the four, t- uh, the, what is that? The four tops went through that. They, they had that on uh, the fictional five heartbreaks type situation. We just seen it in, um, was it Jennifer Hudson when she did uh, Aretha Franklin movie uh, music? They tried to steal her music then, uh, you know, so it's been, a, it's been a long history of music, melanated music being appropriated and then broken into genres. You see what I'm saying? When it's all there. And like you were saying earlier, you know, we come from a time where they said rap wasn't going to make it past 2000. It's a fad. It's going to blow out. It's going to do that. Now, like you said, all music is rap. You know, R&B took a nice little chunk of the time and then it all merged into rap. So now we have rap. And the question you were asking um, initially was um I don't know did you did you pose do is it the the white people have a uh no. position in rap is was that the question initially? well, uh, yeah. well the uh, what well, yeah the the initial question was that is is um just their position in it but um just having you answer the question of um are they guests in the house right? oh, oh okay yeah of course they're guests of course, you 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 can't you can't live in something you ain't build or you didn't purchase or you didn't you know what I'm saying that you actually no, because it, be, be, don't because have if, it. If, but but I mean, there's kids nowadays that rap is all they know, regardless of what color they are. So true, they're not guests. You can still be a guest if you don't know your no, guests. But, no, well, no, it would be your house because that that would be your your house of 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 uh, you, it, it would be your wheelhouse I, it can I also be called trespassing too N- no no because no, no because there's no because there's nobody that regulates people like the, the truth essence of hip-hop isn't even around today in in today's music so there's a lot of people mm-hmm. on both scales that disrespect the music i get that but when you look at it in its true element music can be anywhere See, when you start when you start looking at 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 like and you start putting people in other boxes, there's there you shouldn't live in those boxes. It should be if people are uh, able to do the job or not. Do they entertain me or not when they rap? Like, are they lyrical? So it depends on what you look at it as. But you shouldn't look at it as race. Right. You should look at it as. Is this person up to the, uh, oh, okay. 
they're, they're amazing to me. Can you amaze me? It shouldn't be on that because now you're no better than anybody else who's looked at anybody else for the color of their race or cut color of their skin. So like, that's what I'm saying is that's where we need to start shifting it to look at just, can you do the job or can you not? See, this, this, this is my thing. And I, I mean, it's, I, I, I kind of agree with both of y'all and uh, what both of y'all was saying. Um, uh, first of all, I want to, um, uh, uh, address like what Silk was saying. And I, I agree a lot with what he was saying, just um, when he was saying uh, that these, a lot of these, a lot of this music, if not, uh, <laughs> a grand amount of it comes from melanated places. And um, I think that's something that most everybody uh, can agree with, whether you uh, white, black, whatever. Um, these are, these are musics that started up in melanated places, like Silk said. Um, but I also think that um, going into what Zoe said and how um, you can you can kind of grow into a, into a place, or you you could be born into a place where this is all you know, you know um, that like all I if if I if I came up into a world where all I know is here, like all these kids right now, you know what I mean? The world that they grew up in is a world that's dominated by the culture, you know, so you can't help but be influenced by that, you know, on some level. Um, so yeah, no, I, I think that regardless of the color, because of the fact that it's expanded to the point that it has, I don't think that we can go as far as to say that um, it's just ours now, you know, did, did, it, did it come from a black place? Did it start with us? Yes, all day, people know that. But can we just say that it's ours? That's why I like when Zoe was saying like, um, at some point the house becomes yours because there are people that are buying the houses. You know, now white people are buying houses in hip hop communities, you know, if you will, in a figure in a figurative sense. But you can go ahead, Zoe. But, but, but it's not even that. Some people are just born into that. Like they're just, like you said. Let me pose a question. Yeah. Right. We all we all have our own houses, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Apartments. Okay. So you know. apartments, houses, houses, <laughs> domiciles, right? Can't you bring a like-minded friend, regardless of the skin, inside your home? That was can the question. I, you oh, said, can, can I bring? You, can you bring a like-minded friend? Yes. Inside yes. your home, yes. right? Yeah. Yes. At any time do, throughout the history of y'all friendship, can that person now say that your house is their house and they're no longer a guest? No, yeah. we're not saying that. That's a yes or no. That's just a yeah. yes or no. I just want to rephrase yeah. it again. Can your can your friend that you bring as a guest yeah. in your home, no matter how long they stay there, can they eventually get to the point where they say? They own this house with you. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And don't yes. that, that you, you think so? Yes. You, yes. You, uh, they can move in with you and claim your house. If they, if, they start, if they start paying <laughs> bills, if they start paying, yep. Bills, they pay bills that, and they've been gonna, there for longer you, than yeah. Two, they, they could they could sign they sell. That's right. That's their residence. That. So if we yep. if we was to equate that to just like in hip hop terms, like if 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 um, white people are coming into the game, and that's something that was posed in, in the uh, question that uh, I think Jamar and uh, Vlad was going back and forth with, is like the sweat equity that the that the white artist is putting into it, and that's how much would, would determine whether he's uh, whether he continues to be a guest or is he an official occupant. You know what I mean? So, so the, like there are certain guys who we looked at, like like take Vanilla Ice for instance. He came, he came in, he came in a certain way, so he'll always be looked at as a guest because people didn't feel like he was paying his rent. But you have somebody like Eminem, who a lot of people feel like he's paid his rent. Some people feel like oh, you man. know whatever. Yeah, definitely. But, but for the most part, people feel like he's he didn't paid his rent, and so he's able to say that. Uh, even though Eminem will probably say that he's a guest, but I don't think 
I don't I don't look at him as a guest in the house. Mm -hmm. I look at him as somebody who he he He's has enough humble he has enough that. sweat equity it, as yeah, he, uh, hip -hop it doesn't matter to him. Yeah. Cuz he, he did, but he's I'm doing it for the it himself. No, that's he said I know he's he a, did. He said that he's he a guest to 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 show the respect of and 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 if you think of him as a pioneer him recognizing his position in hip hop is what gives him that sweat equity that we allow him to. He see you. Uh, it's it's a difference. You know what I'm saying. Eminem know how to walk in the house and wipe his feet. You get what I'm saying, right? Before he tried yeah. mud in. Yeah, no. So but and, see, and, but and see we're not. What then? That's he's a mindful what, guest. But, but see it's, the whole he's thing. He's a about, mindful guest. But the whole thing you about see what I'm it saying? is, see, see, I I know what you're saying. And in that element, yes, you are somewhat more right than what we are. I we we see eye to eye on that. But what I'm talking about and what is it's not him, it's say his daughter. Okay. See, some you invited somebody else into the house. Now they had a kid and they still live in your house. That, still, that, yes. No, he no, that's to that child, that is home. Yeah, that's that's that's, that's home. It. That's, that's home it. to the child. But as soon as the parent leaves, the child got to go with the parent. Yeah, but and then we, we that's, the, that's the amazing wake up right there. Like, damn, that wasn't my home. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, damn, we better see, go get a new home. Now let's equate that. I to, get let's say let's equate that to hip hop and hip hop terms, like stepping out okay. into that world and where every where people are putting you out and saying like, this ain't really your house. That's the that's the media. And everybody, that's the that's the outside forces saying what hip hop should be when hip hop is what it is to you. You know what I mean? Yeah, I get that. I I really do get that. But hip, they told hip hop that hip hop could never be a member of the house. Hip hop was always a guest. So yeah. what hip hop did was hip hop went and built its own home, right? Brick by brick, right? Against right. all of against the blues, against R and B, against uh, pop, against uh, rock and roll, all of them who who lived in the mansion together said hip hop of, couldn't live people, in their house. A lot of people that are on top right now don't even pay homage to the ones who gave them their way. So there's very few of the rappers give homage to the right people. But yeah, but wanna... not giving not not giving a homage to the people don't delete the history. It's just no, you no, refuse no, to recognize no, but it's still disrespect who came before to, and give, it's still that, disrespect and give them to who came forward. You know but what? that's what I'm saying. Though. That's how different it's changed. Oh, I, I get the real... that it changed, though. But yeah, let me, we, let me but cut, in. Let me cut was... in for a second. Let me cut in for a second. Y'all don't mean to interrupt because I know this, Go ahead. this is actually a conversation that uh, we needed more time for. I didn't realize, yeah. you know, because we only... How much we got? We got like, like a little more than oh, a yeah. minute left, you yeah. know, so... Let's do a part two. Yeah, no. Run it right back. No, we'll we'll do a part two. You know what I mean? Because um, I definitely we de we definitely got to chop it up some more about this. This is a very <laughs> in depth little conversation. So with the last little minute and twenty seconds or so that I have, I want to invite everybody to come in to part two of this show to see what else that we have to say about this. Because um, I, I I think that I, I enjoyed both of y'all's <laughs> comments on this, and I think we got a lot more to say about this. So. Um, with that being said, like, comment, subscribe onto this video, hit the notification bell on this video, uh, go over to Silk and the Guys, um, uh, like that stuff, um, hit the notification mm -hmm. bell over there, you'll see Zoe over here on my show, you'll see Zoe over on Silk Show, you know, so you'll, you'll get a chance to see him there, but um, with that being said, arrivederci to all of y'all, and we'll see y'all mm -hmm. in just a bit. Continuation.